Howdy everybody, Steve here, KM9G. I am in the makings of the new ham shack and it's coming together nicely. You gotta check out the RV channel I've got linked up in the corner up there in order to see the progress on the RV build out where the ham shack's going because this is the office and it used to be a bunkhouse. But enough of that because we need to talk about ham radio and firmware upgrades and that's what we're doing today. We're gonna do a firmware upgrade on the Vero VRN76. This has been a very popular radio and I am really enjoying it. You can get it from Vero at the link below, or you can get it from Radioddity at the link below. And also, BTEC now sells this as the UV Pro, and there'll be a link for that one as well. Whichever one you get is fantastic, and they all are exactly the same radio under the hood. So this firmware update applies to every single one of them. Let's get to it. What better way to do a firmware upgrade than on a new radio fresh out of the box? I have been hoping to get a red one. They keep sending me these things to share videos with you guys. Let's see what color this one is. Oh, it's not red, but that, that's a really nice looking orange though. I like that. It's not too bright. So it's not too flashy. It's not HVO. It's not your, your hunter safety orange, but it is still pretty good looking color combination there. I like that. All right, let's get the antenna on this thing so we don't hurt anything. As a rule, must remove all shipping screen protectors. And then these radios have a protective cover on their battery and that stops it from coming on during shipping. So we got to get that off as well. There we go. Doubly appealing. So when we put this back in, we can now turn the radio on and we need to link this thing up to our cell phone. So I'm going to set that off to the side and then I'm going to get my cell phone out. This is the HT app on Android. There is an app for the iPhone out, but I have heard that it is not as good. So I need to pair a new device and I'm going to pair a walkie talkie and it's scanning. And then over here, I'm going to hit menu, radio settings, general settings, connection, pairing. And there it is. And would you like to pair? Yes, I would. And now we are paired up. Synchronized signaling settings. Use software settings to override the device settings when a device is connected. Your user ID will be saved to your device and other users can see your avatar on the map. Yes. All right, so now the radio says my call sign, KM9G, because my phone was already configured because I've been playing with a bunch of these radios. You can see more videos of those up in the corner there. I got a whole playlist on this thing. It's been fun to play with. So what we need to do is we need to go in to device settings Device status, firmware version 0 0.72, and then it says 0 0.74 is available. If you don't get this message, you might get a screen that looks like this one here, where it says no updates are available. What they tell you to do is click on those characters more than 10 times continuously, and then you'll get the firmware update notification. So we already have that update notification here, so I'm going to click download, and this is downloading from the internet, I think. Yep, and then we hit start. Optimize receiving sensitivity, teammate information list supports up to 30 historical records. Sub audio selection interface supports digital button jump. Multiple numbers can be entered continuously within one second. Interesting. Improved APRS configuration. When sending APRS messages, a colon can be used to separate the recipient and the message content. Add new programmable button functions, toggle monitor, pairing, dual channel, menu channel, switch, toggle, dual channel, send location. And so that's these extra buttons here on the side that you can use. Add DTMF sending option in signaling menu. So you can use that to control a repeater or to send DTMF tones back to another radio that you control to do a whole bunch of other stuff. And one click linking. This would be so that you can connect two radios together on the same frequency with the same tones. So I'm gonna hit the start button. We're gonna see what the radio does. And it says data transfer and it's working. And there's silence from the radio. Radio doesn't even look like it's doing anything. It says it's gonna take about six minutes, so we'll speed this up. It also says if there's no response for a long time, try abort the button at the bottom and restart. The data transfer is complete. Do you wanna continue the update process? The device will reboot before to process. Hit okay, and it's doing the firmware update. The update is complete. And then it says no updates are available. And instead of showing 074, which was the update version, it still shows 072. So I'm gonna try that 10 taps. 
check for updates to 075. I'm going to go through this whole process again, but we're going to do that off camera and report back when we're done. All right, the update is complete and it still says 072 for some reason. So I'm going to close out the app and we're going to restart and see if that does anything. All right, it says connecting. We are connected and let's go into settings 074. It finally says 074. No updates available. 075. Let's do it one more time for good measure. And we'll be back. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We are all rebooted. The update is complete. We'll hit OK. And it still says 074, but we found out this is because you need to restart the application. So I'm going to restart the application. And it's connecting. And it wants to try to connect again. I might have to repair it. Repair it. Not repair it. Not a bird. All right. Menu. General settings. Oh, did it pair? It paired. Okay, I just needed to be more patient. I got it. All right, so we are now paired again. Let's go into device settings, and it says 074. And it says that no updates are available thing. So when I was looking in the email that I got about the firmware update, it did say it's a beta version, and there might be some things with the version number not changing and a bunch of stuff like that. But I've gone through this process three times now. I've done the software restart. It still says 074. I started out with 072, so we are ahead, and the new firmware is on there, and that is how you do it. It is fairly straightforward to do it. I can only imagine it's going to get better as time goes by. This radio has been fantastic. I have a whole bunch of videos on this radio, and there will still be a couple more videos on this radio, and I'm still wanting to get the red one. This one is orange, and you can kind of see the differences between the orange and the black one. This is the Radiotity GA5WB, and this is the Vero VRN76, and they are the same radio, just in different clothing and obviously in different colors. Once I get all the colors sorted out and I finally get the red one that I want, these will be done on a giveaway on a Monday night ham nugget show, the show where we don't know what we're doing and y'all get to play along and help. Help. There's a video right over here I think you'll enjoy next. In the meantime, otherwise, thanks for being awesome, and I'll see you over there.